Hi, everybody. Hello. 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 Welcome to the show. It's Friday night. It's the sip and so and you are probably wondering why. Um, what is happening here? It's interesting. Okay. Why I um, <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> oh, gosh, <laughs> I'm already having tech problems. Um, somehow my mouse is over on my iPad, not on my computer. Mm. I wonder how that happened. No. <laughs> oh, okay. I am. That must be a new technology upgrade because I've never seen it do that before. Okay. We're all good now. I can actually change my screen. All right. Well, welcome TGIF. We made it friends. Oh good. I didn't forget my wine. <laughs> I, my <clears throat> throat is a little scratchy today. Um, my darling daughter seems to have got me. Well, I don't want to say the S word, but she definitely, I just definitely, my throat is feeling a little scratchy. That's not cool. Not cool. Reagan. All right. Let me pull up YouTube. I see y'all out on Facebook land. Let's see. Friday. New window. So we made it folks. It has been kind of a busy week. Um, I had lots of classes this week, which is fantastic. Cause that's like my favorite. Um, is classes, uh, people learning more about this, uh, craft that I love. Um, let me go over here. Stop texting me, Andy. I'm busy. <laughs> All right. Uh, studio <laughs> Nancy, it's raining here too. I do not like rain. Um, but we haven't had rain in such a long time. It's, we're probably very overdue. So I guess I'll let that fly. <clears throat> All right. <gasps> Adeline. Hi in Nebraska. I haven't seen you in such a long time. I miss you. I'm not coming out for like a year. There is some fun stuff in the works for Omaha at all. All right. Sandy Martin's on down in California. Hello. Missy's on from Redmond and Megan Swan's on from Oregon. Hello, Christine. She says, happy Friday. Thank you. Goodness. Give me an amen. Christine, did you give, get the email I sent you with the link to the, the virtual class? I sent that off before my class this morning. Um, let me see here. We've got Linda's on from, <laughs> that sounds like my kind of drink. She's sipping some whiskey. <laughs> Linda from Tennessee is sipping some whiskey, some vanilla crown Royale. Yes, please. Lisa Meadows is on. Fran Lordy's on in Indiana. Hi, Fran. Um, Kathy is on from East Texas. Debbie's on from Kentucky. Mel and Joe. Rhonda from North Dakota. Um, let's see. Marsha's on from Indiana. Kathleen Rogers on from SoCal. Hi, Kathy. Uh, Pauline's on from Texas. Bernadette, my favorite Canadian, is on. Franny's on. Oh, she's here for a minute, she says. Uh, please send rain this way. On it, Kathy. On it. Peggy Moore is in. <laughs> she said, send rain to Mississippi. We desperately need it. I'm on it, Peggy. I'm on it. Bonnie's on from Illinois. Hello. Um, um, yes, I do have a lid on my drink tonight. I do have my Bernina back from service. I did not fry the motherboard. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, um, Let's see here. Uh, Lisa says, just going to do a mad search for a quilt top in the mess of the sewing room and I can't find it. The search continues. Ah, I hate when I do that kind of stuff. I hate it. Oh, hi, Charlene from Australia. Welcome. Um, let's see. Uh, Charlene, are you the gal who sent me the email? I think someone from Australia sent me an email. Julie Campbell's on from Tennessee. Good, Christine, you got my email. Good. Um, let's see here. Oh, now, Julie Campbell's also my kind of gal. She's sipping caramel, salted caramel whiskey. Did you make that yourself? Do tell about salted caramel whiskey. That sounds pretty good. Oops. No, don't do that, Darlene. Good Lord. Uh, Marcia says it's been a beautiful day in Indiana. And Sandy Reese is on from New Hampshire. All right, girls. So tonight I'm working on a sample. Um, let me do the camera thingamajigger. Do, do, do. 
Miss Super. No, gosh darn. There. Okay. So I'm working on this sample. It is supposed to look like an Argyle sweater. It is for a pattern I am getting ready to release. Oh, Charlene, it was you. Okay, let me answer your questions. Oh, can I get to my email? Hold on. Um, see, see. I've been in a class all day. That's why I haven't responded to you. Uh, where is her email, 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 email? Here we go. So Charlene says she recently purchased her first featherweight from Canada. Wait, welcome to the Cool Kids Club. I live in Australia. I have a couple questions as I watch your videos on YouTube. The kit that comes with your machine has a button. The, ki the kit that comes with the machine has a button holder, attachments, gray cams. I also have a zigzag attachment that comes with the bright yellow cam pattern stitch cams. Can these be used on the 221? Yes, they can. Um, the button holder should be in a um, either a box that says low shank, universal low shank, or it comes like a cardboard box, or it also comes in a green plastic box. That's the button holder for the featherweight. And the yellow cams uh, can be used on the 221. I can't find any YouTube video showing how to use them. Like you, I'm a quilter, not a seamstress. Um, you're in good company here. Um, however, I want to play. I've also seen these spool changers that, yes, turn the cotton reel on its side, little black thing. Would you recommend them? No. So what you're talking about is the notion from Clover that clips onto the spool pin and it holds the, the spool of thread on its side. I do not like anything that puts sideways pressure on that spool pin because it's a machined pressed part. And when it starts to loosen up, it'll eventually, there's no way to tighten it up. And so anything that has um, sideways pressure will cause it to bend over and eventually it's just not good for them. So we use, and I recommend using, if you can find them there in Australia, oh darn it, a thread stand, like a portable thread stand. I can't pull it out because my cords are wrapped around it. So I'm sorry, but I use that instead. Uh, it says I may try to buy some feet from your shop. Yeah. Um, we do ship to Australia. You just have to message me separately and I can put together an order for you. Um, the shipping is different. So I'll, I'd have to like get a shipping quote for you, but I have sent ex acrylic extension tables to Australia. So I can absolutely do that. Good. I'm glad you're on so I can answer your questions live. That was perfect. All right. Let's see here. I message you. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hi, Karen in Ohio. Just got home from Tennessee for a wedding from a wedding. That's awesome. Let's see. Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay. Kathy Soka says message you a picture of a Singer Featherweight Plus. Is that a real thing? Either way, I bought it. I've never heard of a Singer Featherweight Plus. Hmm. I have to look at the picture when I'm off. It's not my phone is being used. It's my camera right here. So I can't, <laughs> I can't look at your picture right this second. Marcia says, is it complicated to convert a 222 to US voltage? No, it does require a motor swap though, because we do not rewind motors here. Um, I haven't even taken a sip yet. Cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Welcome to the sip and so. Let's back up a couple steps, Darlene. Mm. Lisa, she's over on YouTube. <laughs> Charlie says, I can't wait to use my machine. I love your videos. That is, thank you very much. Um, I love being the person that introduces people to their favorite machine, even if they're, do you guys realize that in, I think it's two more days, um, the, um, the singer featherweight turns 89, uh, 33 was the year. So next year there'll be 90, but I believe it was an October 21st or 22nd. Um, release date. And so, uh, yes, Singer Featherweight is about to turn 89 years old. It is absolutely crazy to me that there is such a fawn, almost like a fawning, almost like a, a cult-like following after these little machines, 89 years after they rolled off the assembly room floor. It's nuts to me. Uh, I mean, I'm not, as you can see, I'm sitting in front of Big Bertha tonight. I'm not sitting in front of my Featherweight, but it's absolutely crazy to me that, um, that they just, people still love them so much. All right. My wine is not very cold. Mm. Oh, you did Lisa. Thank you. It's 9am Saturday morning here. Is it too early to sip wine? It's a breakfast cocktail. <laughs> it's a 
breakfast cocktail, Charlene. No one's judging. My husband, for a, a brief period of time, worked. Um, <laughs> I know. You're totally right, Linda. She said nothing today would last that long. Correct. Correct. Uh, the um, My husband worked very briefly for fun as a wine bar. I called him a barkeep. And um, the uh, it would never cease to amaze me how people would roll in as soon as the coffee portion of the wine bar opened and order like a be breakfast cocktail. I I'm not one to judge. I mean, there was definitely times during the pandemic where I was, you know, <clears throat> into the wine at an early hour in the afternoon, but, um, but <laughs> I don't know. Wine first thing in the morning seems like, oh, Bloody Mary time. There you go, Charlie. <laughs> now that seems like a breakfast cocktail. What in the world? I'm not finding my bobbin string. It's orange juice and amaretto. Wait, what? I've not tried that. I've definitely had all kinds of um, mimosas. Let's see, what's wrong with my, oh, my little short string there. <laughs> Trying to decide if I should look for a 222 or a 221 and trying to find a 222. So I actually might be getting a line on a 222 soon. Um, it doesn't make you a bad, it does not make you a bad person, Sandy. Um, so uh, the one, a 222 for me would come already converted to U.S. power. Um, and then, but a 221 would do pretty much the same thing as a 222. It's just, it's, uh, it's just um, a little harder because you have to cover the feed dogs with tape for doing free motion. <laughs> Charlene says, you convinced me. Grapes for breakfast. Ha ha ha. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> I also might have a line on a Chicago World's Fair. Spoiler alert. Um, I What I'm doing on here, I don't know if you can see, I've got some grid lines written out and I am doing this technique about uh, where I'm kind of weaving back and forth in every other checker line. Can I tell you that um, when my machine got back from service, it sounded like a totally different machine. Totally different machine. <laughs> it's a fruit sandy recess. I just love you guys. <laughs> so <clears throat> I had a little uh, featherweight maintenance class today here with some of my local gals, which makes me happy. A bunch of them were ones that had um, bought, purchased machines for me in the last year here out in the store. And so I got to give them the, the detail on taking care of the little machines, which makes me happy. Wonder where Polly is out on U in UK. Hi, Pam Ernest from Maine. I know a Chicago World's Fair would be a fun one. I, you know, I've owned a Texas, which is kind of the unicorn of unicorns. So the Chicago World's Fair isn't quite that like giddy to me and definitely the lady knows what she has so it's not like a particularly great deal um so we'll just have to see if she's gonna want to let it go she has two featherweights one's just a regular one and one is the chicago world's fair that she bought from an estate dealer she said several years ago and she did not pay very much money for it because they did not know what she owned so there's that hi judy from el dorado kansas thanks for saying hi
the Chicago World's Fair would be a 33. <clears throat> Polly, we were just talking about you. I'm like, where's Polly? Hello, Polly. I've never even seen a Chicago World's Fair, so I'd love to just look at it for a while. <laughs> the 36 would have been the Texas, was a 1936. So there was this one gal who uh, was in the class today who had not purchased the machine today or this year for me. So she was, her machine was particularly noisy. And she told me when she goes to her sew group that she had to, um, everybody has to stop talking when she sews. <laughs> the machine is so loud. I'm like, the featherweight is not supposed to be that loud if people have to stop talking because they can't talk over your machine. So she was... Elated, let's just say. She goes, I really, as you can see, I don't get much sewing done. That's what she said. Hi, Lisa Gallofields. Thanks for joining us. You make machine quilting easy and fun. <laughs> love watching you. Thanks, Rhonda. I love, love, love machine quilting. Uh, Tula says, I'm being hypnotized, but I think it's the repair too. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Isn't she quiet? I can tell you she didn't go to service sounding like this. I got to see a penguin in person. Marsha, do tell. How was that? How did you get to see a penguin in person? I showed my class today. They were all, ooh. So my favorite part about doing this is when I'm all done and I can finally take all my blue lines off and everything just disappears. Makes me so happy. It's very satisfying. Polly, I'm so glad she's fixed too. I mean, it wasn't like a catastrophe. I may have had a other machine around. <laughs> oh, it was in a guy's collection. Nice. Which machine? Oh, I am sewing on my Bernina 770 tonight, Kathy. Well, shoot. Mary's going to kill me. I can't find my zippy cup she bought me after she visited you. Franny, get it together, girl. Okay. Inquiring minds want to know, you live with Mary, Franny. Do you guys fight like cats and dogs? I, I love my sisters. I mean, I love my sisters, but I'm not sure we could like live under the same roof. I'm not sure. Oh, there's the machine. It says featherweight singer plus it's a three, two, four. Let me look at this thing. I've never seen something like this. Kathy Zoka. That's a very interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure I've ever seen anything like that. Hi, Marianne DeVries or Marianne Driesberry. Sorry. Oh, Kathy, you have the same machine. You have the Tula pink one. 
<laughs> Peggy Morrison says the aquarium aquarium at Gulfport had a group of penguins. They were adorable. I, I thought of your quilt. Yes, that's still here. That penguin quilt still here. And he says, oh, hell no, we don't fight. We just don't talk to each other for a very long time. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my machine sounds like it needs oil. Oh, I think it's not that loud in person. It just must be sitting right by the speakers. Because I can tell you, it is like a ton, ton, ton quieter than when I sent it. Um, I am not using my BSR. Uh, I do not get along with my BSR because I sew at expert level and it, I outrun it. So I don't use the BSR anymore. I have my, I usually have my ruler foot on here. Which one is this? I can't, I don't remember the name of it, but it's the one with the plexiglass foot control or foot bottom. That's the darning foot I have on right now. I know my big fat fancy BSR just sits in her box. So today is kind of our first day of rain in weeks and weeks and weeks. You have my <laughs> Franny, you'll have to come out here and pick it up if I've got your cup. Uh, uh, today's our first day of rain in weeks and weeks and weeks. And I'm actually like, oh, now all I want to do is go to Phoenix. I'm supposed to be back in Phoenix this winter. If we have the kind of winter they're predicting... I will be thinking of Arizona quite a bit. I actually have picked up another uh, classroom venue this next Arizona trip. I'm going to um, rejoin my classroom at Modern Quilting in Scottsdale. Um, I used to teach there when we lived in Arizona and I haven't taught there in a while. Um, but this last trip to Arizona, I, um, I decided that I did have one free day when I go and I could put another venue in. So Susan says, I'm a newbie and saw you on AccuQuilt Live a while ago. Nice, Susan, thanks for let me know. Uh, I'm trying to read up on the featherweights. I feel like, feel like I am wanting to go face-to-face -face session to learn more. Love your videos, but would love to come and sew a into a maintenance class once. Sure. Absolutely. Where do you live? <laughs> but I can come and sew and maintain class once I find my machine. Road trip. What part of the country do you live in? Because I travel the country. So I go to Omaha. I go to Phoenix. Are you more central to North Idaho or to any one of those locales? Um, it's been drizzling. Polly told us in UK here we had a splash of sunshine. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> This afternoon, I'd never seen the outside seating so busy as people tried to catch the last sun of the year. 
Ugh. Let's see. Rhonda says, bring on the snow for me. Woman, take that filthy snow word out of your mouth. No, thank you. Franny says, we're in fire dan danger this weekend because of the drought. 50 to 60 mile an hour winds both Saturday and Sunday. Yikes, batting down the hatches. <laughs> Kathy says, you go everywhere but Texas. I, I could go to Texas. I just don't get an invite to go to Texas. I don't mind going to Texas. My mom and dad live there. And my sister. <laughs> hi, Molly. She says, hi. Wow, we had, we had a day lost a cat and then got him back. Good. I'm glad you got him back. I even do driving in Texas to see you. <laughs> Let's see. She's in Wisconsin. Shelly's. So Susan, I go to Omaha. That's a little closer to Wisconsin. Um, I will be there. Um, I will be in Omaha again a year from now. Uh, I think either late September or early October, there's some, um, I, I don't want to say too much, let the cat out of the bag, but I have some uh, contractual obligations to come there for, uh, and I will be doing a collaborative event uh, at a quilt or at Celtic Quilter there in Omaha. Um, I don't have all the details and don't feel like I can talk about it yet, but it's going to be fantastic. Fantastic. I also do virtual classes too. Um, uh, <laughs> they live there and you need an invite. <laughs> what, Franny? <laughs> Tomorrow I have sewing therapy. Oh, to recover from today. Yes, keep the kitties inside. Then you don't have to go looking. On Tuesday, it poured in the White Mounds. We went to North Conway for a birthday. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. <gasps> yes, an invite from a quilting store. Burning a safe because we had a lid on our cup. <laughs> I need to be Omaha bound. Yahoo. <laughs> Bye Lisa. She's got to run getting her to be ready for a road trip. Need to get busy. Good Lord. Everybody. We oh, <laughs> poor Charlene's in Australia. She said, wish it snowed here. Snow and sleighs are not what we have in Australia. We are heading into hot summer flies and mosquitoes. She calls them mozzies. Is that mosquitoes? Christmas is us for shorts and thongs. I hope you mean flip flops. <laughs> Singlets at the beach. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Oh, hi, Jimmy. Glad you can't be on here disparaging your poor mother's name. Oopsie. Oh my gosh. I sewed in the wrong. <sighs> Good Lord. Well, I'm, I just messed up. I should not have sewn in this square. I was supposed to have sewn in these squares. Okay. <laughs> Darlene is done sewing for the night. I have to pick all that out. Dang it. Let's see. Molly says, Darlene, at the quilt show, there were no vendors with featherweight specific merch. Just saying, you about stopped my heart with that cup girl. I know. <laughs> the Bernina safe, everybody. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Let's see. I did not actually touch the Bernina this time. What is, okay, I guess, you know what, I think the universe is telling me 
is that I should not um, be, I should not be using the Bernina. That's all there is to it. Because again, any kind of a wine incident, and we would not have a problem with the featherweight. So let's just drop this down. Goodbye. What, Bernina? Okay. What do we want to talk about? <laughs> Since I have to pick all that out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see here. What did this say? Kathy says, as you sow, so shall ye rip. <laughs> Amen, sister. Um, let's see. I need to I need to get info on that quilt show, Molly. Cause you're like not the first person who has mentioned it to me. Um <laughs> Bernina Mark Save from Friday night. <laughs> Molly, that one was good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, this is a horn table. This was one of my um, uh, very, very nice pandemic purchases. I um, It's all hydraulic. So the, the machine is all hydraulic and it's a standing or a sitting desk too. So it's not just the machine. <laughs> uh, Polly says, I have signs up in my she shed saying no drinks allowed and anyone who dares bring a drink in it gets a dreaded pointy finger. Oh, oh, <laughs> I want a pointy finger. <laughs> um, <laughs> Debbie says, Sinclair says, if my granny were around you, she would pinch you so hard for having a drink. <laughs> Having a drink around the sewing machine, that was a no, 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 no. I know, you'd think I'd learn a lesson, right? We're not going to tell Andy about that, right? That's just between us girls and Jimmy. <laughs> <coughs> if Reagan has made me S-I-C-K, I am going to kill her. Uh, what is the name of your, it's a horn, H-O-N-E, and I can't remember, its nickname is the baby elephant because it literally weighs 500 pounds. It is very heavy and it's a huge desktop. So it's literally 36 inches deep and I think um, almost 60 inches wide. It's huge. And the reason why I bought it is it had an extra big cut out for the Bernina because it's so big. And I had a different, um, <laughs> thanks Polly. <laughs> I had an extra, I had another sewing table that was a koala sewing table. I think they're out of Canada and the Bernina, the big 770 barely fit in to the hole for the cutout of the machine. And so this one has an extra deep hole and I can, <clears throat> I can fit my Bernina in and out of it. And I like that it drops up and down because I use this table for my filming set quite a bit and I can just drop the Bernina down into the table and then I can put, uh, put a featherweight up over the top. So, um, Molly says my grandmother was very anti spirits and yet she made <laughs> balloon wine. Oh, well, you're going to have to explain balloon wine. <laughs> I looked at the horn 9,000 this weekend. Is that, is that the hydraulic one with the dual hydraulic system? I will say this. I don't, no one turned me into horn for saying this. This table was very, very expensive and it has given me quite a bit of trouble. It has all this extra space on it for multiple machines to sit on. But if you put too much weight on the table, it gives you error messages when you're trying to move it up and down. In the hydraulic height adjustment, yeah, Sandy is my favorite part because I actually sew quite a bit standing up. I know that sounds really weird. Um, Kathy, it's a horn, H-O-N-E, horn brand table. Kathy uh, from East Texas says, I'm very careful with my drinks around my sewing machines and my computers either. Any liquid could create a major issue. Yes, and they are nice issues. I agree. I agree. 
I again, wine in the featherweight would probably not stop the featherweight. This is a public service announcement. <laughs> <laughs> Brady says that her grandma her grandpa did too and would love uh oh anti spirits. So balloon wine. You guys have to tell me what this is. Molly says my grandpa made blue wine and I have love it again. It was wonderful. Molly, do tell. Type fast. <laughs> <clears throat> My throat after talking for five hours during a spa day is very, very, very sore. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly, Sandy. says, that's good to know. Um, ooh, I got to put my thing on. Um, hold on. Boop, 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 boop. I put it live. Of all that is good and holy. Do not knock the camera over. Oh, the desk is moving. Okay, there. Um, uh, Sandy says, it's nice to know I stand sewing up too, but I like that you can either sew or cut. Exactly. I rarely use this for cutting space though. If I'm being honest, I always have 17 machines on it. So, <laughs> okay. I guess I can't read everybody's comments. If I take my glasses off. Does anybody have any big plans this weekend? If you live in North Idaho and you didn't get your bulbs in the ground, <laughs> you're probably waiting till spring. <laughs> I was totally going to put them in the ground over the weekend and I didn't realize the weather was coming in before the weekend. I only have one day off a week, so it's Sunday. And so if it doesn't happen on Sunday, it just doesn't happen because I am certainly not going to get up any earlier than I already do. And um, now that the <clears throat> the winter is upon us, the, the days are getting too uh, short to be able to do anything at night. Polly says... It is true about the featherweight, my friend's little girl, Elsie. That's such a cute name. Spit juice on hers, bought it over a panic and just took off the motor housing, gave it a clean, let it dry. It still works. It's true. It's true. Oh, shoot. I have to get my garlic on the ground this week. Oh, thanks, Stevie. Thanks for tuning in. She in. Found out th the plus is a 324. Oh, I'm the singer featherweight plus. Kathy Zoka, I have never seen that machine before. I'm not sure. <laughs> made my GPA, made grape wine. What did yours make? Oh, Grandpa. Got it. All right. Well, let's see. What else do I have going on? Tomorrow, there's no classes here. Thank goodness. I need a, I need a slow day. I've been manufacturing a lot of goods. And so I need another day to do that. Oh, <clears throat> hold on. Everybody raise here. Hold on a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. My ride is here. <laughs> Ladies, just, does anyone know why monsters don't eat? <laughs> Jen Jen, what? Hi, sweetheart. How was ballet? It was good. She's still, yeah. <laughs> See her voice? Uh. This is what I... <laughs> Jen Jen just said, everybody ready for a dad joke? Jen Jen just hit me with a zinger. She says, hey, ladies, does anyone know why monsters don't eat ghosts? Because it tastes like sheets. <laughs> Oh, come on. That's hilarious. It's all right. <laughs> Jen, Jen, that's a good one. <laughs> that's hilarious. Thanks, Rhonda. Have a good afternoon. I have some jokes, but they're not appropriate. So send a YouTube link. Guys says it's very rare. Oh, okay. I'll look it up. Polly and Sandy Martin say hi, sweetheart. Hello. <laughs> 
Bernadette. Cheers. What? We like the ghost joke. Oh. <laughs> Thought you were making fun of my voice. No. What are you doing? I think. I think. I gotta pick you up. <laughs> I forgot to remind you, I seriously thought you were going to forget me. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Mom. See you later. There's no Uber here in North Idaho. Rod here. I'm sure you could have dropped you off. <laughs> All right, friends. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap up this show. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us, Australia. It was nice to have you. I hope you... Uh, Love, love, love your featherweight. Please let me know if you have any questions. And I'm very happy to um, to do what I can to get you going. All right, friends. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay warm and stay dry. <laughs> I, hope, uh, I hope to see you back on Monday right here at 4 o'clock Pacific on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, cheers one more time. <laughs>